Hi, my name's Livia. I'm a medical student here in the UK and welcome to my channel for Dyslexic Medic. I have a hot drink and cosy clothes on which means it's time for med student chats. So what I wanted to chat about today is having doubts about medicine. I know, crazy that medical students might have doubts about the degree course that they've chosen and whether what they're doing is the right thing for them or not. Should we not just sign up for a degree and be grateful for the opportunity for the rest of our lives? So the answer is mixed. Yes, I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity that I've been given in being able to study medicine. But it equally doesn't mean I haven't had doubts about it or can't question my decision. It's a big thing deciding to do medicine. Like I decided when I was 15 that it was what I wanted to do. Sort of 15 year old me and 22 year old me might have different thoughts about things. So it's perfectly natural and normal that I might doubt whether I've made the right decision or not. During the second half of my second year, I really struggled with knowing whether I wanted to do medicine or not. Is it like I thought it would be? It sounds a bit stupid, but it was a lot of like academic and book learning, which I know is an important part of a medical degree. But what you're sort of sold by the university and what you actually get can be quite different. So a lot of universities will be like early clinical contact, things like that, which is really good. And like, yeah, we did have visits for like specific things and we did have time, you know, bits of time on the wards, but it wasn't like it is now in my final year where we were on the wards like the entire time. Like when you do work experience, so you're there the whole time, you're doing things, you're seeing patients. Pre-clinical medicine is not like that. And no one really tells you that, which I know is a like stupid thing for me not to have realised, but it doesn't mean it's not hard when you're doing it. It's difficult to see sort of the light at the end of the tunnel when you haven't really had that much clinical experience. And sort of all that seems to be in your view is just a massive pile of textbooks with things that you don't know. Retrospectively, doing clinical contact and a lot of it really early wouldn't be that useful for like learning and knowledge and understanding what was going on but it definitely helps motivate you when you can kind of see what you're aiming towards some people quite rightly might disagree with me and say that actually they really liked their early clinical experience it taught them a lot about medicine things like that which i can see why but looking back for me like i need that knowledge base to be able to understand what's going on rather than just sitting there being like ah oh, a patient they exist Equally, during that like bit of second year, that would have been quite helpful to, to have as well, just to remind me what I was aiming for. I know a lot of people who've had doubts about medicine, and it's really common. We just don't really talk about it that much. So I know people who've dropped out after their second year of medicine, which you know, is their choice, and sort of they made that decision as an adult. It's very difficult because on work experience you're there, as I said before, you're there, you're immersed and then suddenly you're on this very scientific course. Which again sounds stupid because medicine is science, but equally it's very practical. So it's quite difficult when you do two years of what feels like a straight science degree when you're like, but I signed up to be on the wards and see people and, you know, <laughs> examine them and take histories. It's quite difficult to see the light at the end of the tunnel sometimes, especially coming towards the end of second year. I can imagine especially now, because I know a lot of early years placements have been cancelled, um, so you don't get that contact, which is really rubbish. So I do really feel for younger years at the moment who've had such a massive impact on their studies. By the end of second year, I was seriously thinking of dropping out of medicine. But I sort of had a discussion with my parents and we decided that I would get through to the end of third year, do some clinical medicine and see how I felt then equally because at least at my university, after your third year, if you pass all of your third year and then drop out, you do get a degree in clinical life science, something like that. You do get a degree after the three years of your course. Even now when I have a really hard day on placement, I do wonder why I'm putting myself through it because you know you do see really hard and some really horrible things sometimes and you're like but I'm only a student why am I doing this like I sometimes you're like I'm literally paying for the privilege of what feels like sometimes working and seeing really difficult things and dealing with really difficult situations 
but it's really worth it in the end because of the good days, because of the amazing people you meet, whether they're staff or patients or other students. I'm really glad that I chose to carry on. I know that this is the right decision for me at the moment. I really love being on the wards. It's what I really look forward to and what I enjoy getting up to go into most days unless it's like six in the morning and you're having to commute for like an hour and a half for a ward round. Anyway, it's just the joys of medical school. But I also really understand why people decide that it's not for them. So if you are having doubts about medicine, and that might be the reason why you clicked on my video, just know that it's okay and it's really normal and you shouldn't feel ashamed or guilty about it. Because loads of people have these feelings, we're just really bad at vocalising them. My advice would be to kind of speak to your friends and family about how you're feeling and about why you're feeling it. Is it stuff that's going on like outside? Or is it the course? Is it stuff that's going on like within uni? There's lots of different reasons why it doesn't feel like the right thing. And these feelings can be brief, they can last a couple of days, they can last quite a long period of time, or they can be permanent and you decide that medicine's not for you and any of those is fine. Ultimately you need to make the right decision for you and not for other people's wants or expectations. That's all for now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if it's something that you would like me to do more of and talking about some of the less talked topics about in medicine and if there is anything in particular you'd like me to talk about. Stay safe, wash your hands, bye for now.